Corey. Hi, I'm Malin. And in this video, I want to talk about holding on to what you have because recently I've come to this realization, you know, I've had people like a past teacher, for example, came to me and at, while I was working and it just kind of made me, brought me back to like high school and all those times and where everything felt so big and you know, it felt all, all important, but you kind of had structure and a schedule to follow and I didn't look forward to going to it and you know, there's parts of it that sucked and some parts that, that I liked and you know, it was really great to see friends and have like the social aspect of it. And then I realized how much I've underappreciated um, those people, you know, and just those times because when you're in it, it kind of sucks. But then looking back on it, it's kind of like this nostalgic kind of like, oh, that was like kind of like the good times. This was a, a pretty good time. And, you know, I have some fun memories of it. And I also like kind of laugh at how silly I was, you know, little fights with friends and just all these little things that you look back on, you're like, God, I was such such an idiot doing those things. And I guess you can only really learn from experiences like that. But what I wanted to say was just when you're in the moment, just enjoy it because like these moments that I've been having, you know, they haven't recently, I haven't really had many great moments, haven't had many great days, you know. And I'm just trying to get my feet off the ground. I try and get myself moving forward in a direction that I kind of want. And I'm just realizing that, oh, you know, it's not, it's not getting to a better place. It's not being better. It's the process. It's the thing that I'm feeling now. It's what I'm experiencing now. That's like, I'm going to look back on with nostalgia. And that's what I should be enjoying because that's my experience at the moment. And although it kind of sounds like, oh, that's, that sounds like it sucks, you know, like if I'm feeling really down, if I'm feeling kind of depressed and like in a rut, why would I be grateful of this? Why would I be excited about this? And it's because you need the dark to show the light. I think that's such a big quote and I got that from Bob Ross and Bill Alexander just with painting, you know, as dark as the darks are, that's how much lighter the lights are going to be. You know, you need this kind of contrast. And it's kind of tough in the moment, but I'm just trying to kind of see it with that, you know, looking back at how I was nostalgic in the past of things and trying to bring that into like the present, you know. And it's so important to hold on to what you have because you never know when friends, when places, when things, you won't be able to do them anymore. You'll be too old to be able to play your sport as you were when you were younger you'll be too old to you know you start losing your voice you start losing your youth and your energy I think we don't I, don't I don't really realize that and other people my age don't really realize that because we're so young and we just think oh it's going to last like this forever but it's not you know and it's funny because you look forward when you're younger so much to being an adult and then you become an adult and it kind of sucks and then you realize oh, oh how great it was being a, a kid and that's kind of how we go on with our lives. You know, it's like, oh, when I get this better job, then I'll be better. Oh, maybe I just need a wife. Maybe I need a family. That'll make me feel better. And that's like the next thing goes on and on. A house, you know, more money. It's kind of funny, you know. And then you look back and you kind of realize, oh, it wasn't in getting these things that made me happy. It was like just experiencing these little moments, you know, like that time where, you know, I wasn't feeling that great, but I, I saw a friend and... You know, we just went out on this big, massive walk or, you know, with one friend, I'd always go cliff climbing. And that was like such a nice thing to do, you know, because all the drama from school, all of the kind of stress and worrying about what I was going to do with my life. You know, I just go out with a friend and we just climb this kind of cliffs, cliffs in these mountains, not these mountains, just like these cliffs. And it was just nice, you know. And in the moment, you don't really I didn't really appreciate it. I didn't really understand how much it it kind of meant to me and how much it kind of kept me feeling sane, you know, but it's taught me the lesson to, you know, hold on to the things while you have them because you never know when they're going to be gone.